Hey YouTube, updates, updates, updates. Okay, so um, let's see. Water fast um, is going to end uh, tomorrow. Um, I did seven days. I was going to try to go 10 or 14. Um, that did not work out because um, I found out that someone who was also water fasting, um, she was also going to do 14 days, uh, became very, very, very ill and um, had to be rushed to the hospital. And uh, they found out that it was because she was horribly dehydrated. I know on a water fast, how do you get dehydrated? I don't even know. But um, she actually lost her speech and she almost was not able to call for help and got to the hospital on time. So um, when you're water fasting, you cannot fast in fear. And after this happened to her, um, kind of fear set in and I thought, okay, this is where it's got to end. So um, tonight it will end and tomorrow morning I'm going to break my fast, um, probably with some juice and I'm going to juice for a couple of days till I get back on, on that. But anyway, um, I've lost, I think, um, eight pounds as of today. So I guess that's good, like a, a pound a day, a little bit more than a pound a day. Um, and I just wanted to put that out there because in case anybody is thinking about, ooh, cool, water fast, hey, I can lose a little bit of weight, not a good idea um, unless, you know, you've been approved by a doctor and, you know, you have someone that can watch over you. I'm very lucky. I know how to take my own blood pressure. Um, you know, I check my, my own blood sugar. Um, I have a neighbor that is constantly checking up on me and making sure that everything's okay. And so I'm very lucky in that aspect. Um, and I live about five minutes from a hospital. So um, it's not like the easiest thing in the world. And um, if you are thinking about water fasting, I suggest doing a lot of reading on it. And um, also um, there's groups that you can join that can help you out. And the best way to water fast, believe it or not, is um, eat Monday through Friday. Um, Friday after dinner, stop eating. Um, don't eat Saturday, don't eat Sunday, and Monday, start eating again. And um, you'll actually lose weight, and it's safe that way. You know, you're not taking any risks. So anyway, um, enough of that. Um, I also have um, an update on uh, the denture stuff, and I also have something that I really want to share with you and I'm going to start with that first. Um, a friend of mine um, that knows that I'm into like healing and, and knows that what I'm going through with my teeth right now sent me a video and it's called um, The Beautiful Truth. And if you have ever, ever, ever had a tooth removed, a filling, dentures, have anyone, children, whatever, anything that have ever had problems with their teeth, loose teeth, problem teeth, if you're going through problem teeth right now, if you're thinking about getting dentures, even if you have just gotten dentures or you've had them for years, please, please go watch this documentary. I'm going to put the, um, the link right below and it's called The Beautiful Truth. You don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want to. I understand it's a very long documentary, but at least get up to the first 12 minutes because at, at the 12 minute mark is when they start showing you things about your mouth and about teeth that I assure you, you have never heard, you did not know, and will blow your mind. So um, if I could ask anything of you guys that are following me or even watching this video. It's make sure, click on that link and watch it. There is commercial interruptions in between, but it's like three minutes. You just click off of it and continue on. Like I said, you don't have to watch the whole thing. It's it's about a two-hour documentary, but um, at least go up to the 12-minute the mark. And I think they talk about teeth for, I think it's like eight minutes. And it's so worth hearing. You will be educated beyond any knowledge you could ever hope to get. Okay, um, the next thing is um, the affordable dentures. 
the first time um, that I went to Affordable Dentures, I was not in a good place in my mind. I I went in there and I was like, how much is this going to cost me? 1200 okay, thanks. You know, I was upset. I was pissed. Um, I just was not in a very good space. So I just kind of got that quick information, walked out and said, okay, well, that's how much I got to get together. And um, I decided that now that I'm in more of a, a, a calm state of mind, I called them up um, on Friday and I asked the lady, I said, hey, is there any way that I can come down there and possibly take up like five minutes of somebody's time, maybe 15 and get some, some answers to some questions that I have? And she said, sure, that's not a problem. Um, come in around three o'clock and we can help you out. So I showed up down there at three o'clock. Now, I don't know about your neck of the woods, but here we only have two places that you can actually get dentures at. Um, and the other place I have, I'm not even going to mention who they are, but I've heard not such great things about them. So um, I go, when I walked in through the door, and I kid you not when I say this, every single, every single chair in that place was taken. It was packed to the brim. Every parking spot. Um, ours is in the same parking lot as Home Depot, and I literally had to park over at Home Depot and walk um, over to Affordable Dentures. Um, when I got in there, the lady told me it would be just a few few minutes, so I sat down, and instantly, <laughs> the man right across from me started complaining. He's like, if I had to come from so far away, I've already been out of here. I've been here two hours, and I'm like, okay, mental note. If I have to come back, bring a book. Um, maybe an iPod, you know, listen to some music. Um, and one of the ladies said that she had traveled down from Taos, New Mexico. And he said that he had traveled in from, um, uh, from Nevada. And another guy had said that he had traveled in from Utah. So... I'm guessing that these affordable dentures aren't like everywhere. And everybody was saying that this was the cheapest place to get them and that's why they had traveled so far. But what I wanted to share with you is something that I did not know, I don't think a lot of people know, and this lady was very kind to offer this information. Um, when you go in to go get your dentures, the cheapest um, package that they have in my neck of the woods, I don't know, maybe it's different prices in your neck um, of the woods. The cheapest that they have is $875. Um, the next one that they have is called a custom package. Um, a custom package, which is $1,125. The next package up from that is a premium package, which is $1,325. And the top of the line package is the ultra package and is $1,565. Now, I told her, I explained to her, you know, that I have now spent months doing this, right? When I smile. When I get dentures, I don't want to do this anymore. I want them to look nice enough where I can have a nice smile on my face, walk in somewhere and people aren't going to look at me and go, oh yeah, she wears dentures. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't want that. So I wanted the most realistic and the best looking and everything else, which would be the ultra package. So that's almost $1,600. And I told her, I said, well, I've only got 1200 and that's really all I want to do. So she explained this to me. If you go down to affordable dentures, get into their minimum package, which is $875. You do not get your permanent dentures for a year. A year, uh, 12 to 14 months, okay? So in those 14 months, you can actually upgrade to the next package and to the next package and to the next package. So um, you can... Um, pay the $875 and get into a package, which I highly suggest, and she highly suggests, 
because every time they have to fix your dentures for any reason, it's $65 for the tops and $65 for the lowers. So it's going to cost you a lot of money if you don't get into a package. So if you get into the $875 package, you know, like three months later, you can go in there and give them another $250 and upgrade to the next package. A couple of months later, you can give them another $200 and upgrade to the premium package. Then you can go in and give them like $240 and upgrade to the ultimate package. So basically, um, from the bottom package to the top package, um, it's $690 difference. So you have 12 months to come up with the extra $690. That's $57.50 a month. So if you can put away $57.50 a month, you know, or correlate it with your tax return, right? Um, you can do that, you know, so you can actually get the best of the best package and you have a year to 14 months to go upgrading to that package. Um, as long as you first get in a package. And I didn't know that in the beginning. And I think that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to get into the cheapest package and slowly but surely go upgrading. Um, the only other option I have is someone mentioned that um, down in, I believe it's Houston, Texas, I believe. Don't quote me on that. If anybody wants to know, email me and I'll let you know. There is a dentist um, who um, does have oral surgeons on the property. They do do dentures. I've heard they, they do beautiful, beautiful work. And um, they also do financing. They do their own financing. So I thought, wow, that would be really cool. But the problem is now you got to come up with the extra money <laughs> for the vacation. <laughs> because, um, you know, we would have to drive all the way down there, you know, get a motel or hotel and, you know, um, stay... Uh, for the extractions and then wait another 24 hours so we can get the, um, uh, the, the dentures and I couldn't even put them in because I can't do that. I have to go a different route and, you know, if I come back and then, you know, I just seen, um, who was it, uh, Kylie, I think it was, that she's like an hour away, an hour and a half away from, um, her place and ugh, her dentures didn't fit. I just, oh, my heart, my heart goes out to you. Um, you know, and I, I thought about it and I was like, you know what? This is quite a ways further than that for me. So I do not want to drive all that way. And, you know, um, if I'm paying $2,000 for dentures, I'm not buying my own Dremel tool. You're going to fix them for me. I'm sorry. I just, you know, and what happens if I break them or I ruin them? And yeah, I'm, yeah. So I decided just to go with the affordable dentures and do that. And, um, you know, that's pretty much um, what I have for today. Um, I hope that that helps a few of you out, you know, that are, are looking for, uh, different options. You know, I, I'm, I'm still, you know, I still got a few more months, so I'm like digging and scratching and <laughs> searching everywhere that I can to see what I can do and where I can go and how I can get this done and everything else. So, um, yeah. Hey, um, so till next time, be happy, stay healthy. See you then. Bye.